I do is um, at the beginning, Keaton told me to run this thing the, like it's my business, like it's my deal, you know. So that's how I do it. I don't really, I do what he wants to be done, but I run it like it's my company. When we were in California, I was running a, a big operation at the time, it was our biggest operation. And the people out there had to go get it like I did and wanted to do good and stuff, just the way Keaton was treating people and how his, uh, how he was wanting to implement things for the company and, and wanted to change some things. So when he told me about all that, I, I fed off all that. So I just took everything and, and just made everything a fun environment. So all them guys, I would get more work out of them. And they was always like, you know, I tell them all, guys, we need, say we need 300 loads. They would say, well, let's get 305. You know, and, and I would, well, I don't know if we can get it, but we can try. No, we're gonna get 305. That's what they tell me. And I'd say, okay, well, let's try to get 305. Well, we'd hit 305 and then turn around and then it would be the next day, morning meeting. I'd say, well, guys, we need to hit 300. No, we're gonna hit 310, you know. And the drive of them guys doing that, it led to um, one afternoon, I, I wasn't actually there. We hit 417 loads and I was super happy. It's the most we ever done. I was super happy with small equipment and less trucks. They come in on the weekend and Tyler Fraser, we call him Gump, he, uh, he goes and hits 451 loads. And I lose my mind, I'm like, oh, I come in the next day and I'm like, dude, you're, you're, you know, that's, you're not doing that. He said, no, we did it. And I went in and I was super happy. I told everybody, I was like, if you guys can hit 470 loads, I'll buy you all dinner out of my own pocket. Like, I'll buy everybody a steak dinner. And me and Ryan Bailey and a, and a couple other people and our wives, we went out and, and had a good evening. And I get a phone call from uh, Tyler and he says, uh, you're never gonna believe what's gonna happen. And I said, oh, you're gonna hit 470 and I'm gonna buy you all steak dinner. Well, he said, oh no. He said, we've gonna do more than that. And I was like, there ain't no way. And they had great conditions, everything was just going right. They ended up smacking me in the mouth and hitting me with 516 loads. And they quit an hour early. So I was like, huh, I guess you guys are gonna do some, you know, do something like that. Was, everything just went right for them that night. And things like that, going and making people a bet, saying, hey, you know, I don't think you can do this. You tell somebody you don't think they can do it, nine times out of 10, they got pride and they want to be able to prove to you. They want to prove you wrong. And that's kind of what I've had a variety of people do. And that's where I go every, every job site I go to. I try to get people to try to prove me wrong. Because if I can prove Keaton wrong, then I can prove myself wrong. Even if 300 is real hard to get, I'm still trying to hit a bigger number than what he wants just because it's not to prove to him I can do it, it's to prove to myself and the rest of the people like, hey look, the main boss wants this number, but we could do this. And if we can do this, look how good we're gonna look. That's the best part about all these people is I get good work out of these people because I treat them like they're my family.